What's up guys, welcome back to Latin Chopsticks. I am so happy to have you guys here and I am finally at 100% and feeling much, much better. Today, we're finally gonna go to this place. We were gonna go early today, but then it turns out they actually opened today at 5.30 p.m. And that's gonna be the authentic Japanese restaurant. At first, I thought it was just gonna be a sushi place, but it's actually a mix. They have sushi, they have ramen, they have okonomiyaki, they have like a whole bunch of different dishes. So we're gonna go and we're gonna try to see if we could try out uh, different types. I'm not sure yet, we'll see once we get there. But I do definitely wanna try out their sushi because that's what everybody was telling me I should go and try. So Eric, thank you so much. This is gonna be for you mostly. Um, and just try this place out and let's see how it is. I was supposed to go two weeks ago, but because I got you know the flu and I got sick, I just figured eating raw fish was probably not the best idea. So we're really excited. We're gonna head there now, me and my wife, and we cannot wait. We have not eaten since early this morning just to try this and make sure that we really get to enjoy and feel uh, basically the food. So let's head over there, guys. All right, guys, we are here. We are making our way to the little restaurant. It's in a really nice area. It's in the middle of downtown. Me and my wife are really excited. We haven't eaten and man, I, we can't wait, man. But we had to park like on the other side of the street just so we can get here. Cause they, like they closed off the roads. I'm not really sure why, cause there's no construction or anything, but you know, we're almost there. We're here and we're happy. So we'll head in there now. All right, guys, we are here. This is awesome because we actually ended up meeting up with Eric um, while we're here, so I'm really excited. Uh, he gave us a few recommendations. I got a few things right off the menu, um, but then he came out and talked to some of the waitresses. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, we got some miso soup and some salad to start off. I'm gonna have my wife try it while I finish talking to you guys, but Basically, we ended up meeting up with um, Eric here completely by accident. So he ended up being here, which is absolutely amazing. And he kind of gave us a few tips, but he wouldn't tell us what it was. So it's going to be a surprise. It's going to get sent out to our table. Um, with that said, we went ahead and, of course, I got a combo for one, which brings a salad and a miso soup as an entry. Then we're going to get, I believe it's like nine pieces of sashimi, nine pieces of nigiri, and then a, Philly, a Philadelphia roll for my wife because she loves it. Uh, we ended up getting some chicken teriyaki as well as an order of gyoza because we have to have any type of gyoza or fried dumplings we're going to have, as you guys always know. Um, and then he gave us a little, he said he's going to do a little surprise, so we're going to get something else afterwards um, added to our table just so we can try it out. But really excited. Can't wait to start eating, guys. So we're going to go ahead and try this first. All right, guys. So this is the miso soup, your typical cloudy little bowl of fishy goodness. You got your green onions. I'm not sure if this is kumbo, but this usually gets added. You have the square pieces of tofu on the bottom. Oh man, this escaped me. But this is the first thing we're gonna try out. Hopefully this is as good as it looks. I do like miso, not my favorite, but I do typically enjoy it, but we're gonna try out how good this is. All right guys, bottoms up. Mm, that has really good flavor, really good flavor. Reason being, for me, miso, especially while we were in Japan, I actually ended up really liking it. And then when I got back to the States, I ended up not liking at all any of the miso soups that I would have here because it's way too strong on the fish flavor. This one is very light on that fish flavor. You get the creaminess from the tofu. You get a slight crunch from the from like the seaweed that's in there or the combo, I'm not 100% sure what it is and I apologize. And then the green onion is just that little tiny crunch of goodness. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, it's really good, really good. All right, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and try is gonna be the salad. So we're gonna need our chopsticks for that. Let's go ahead and check it out. So this salad looks really appetizing. You know, you have lettuce, it looks like you have radish. You have a bunch of this paste that they put on top. I think it's, I can't remember what it's based off of. I just know that usually the flavors are so freaking good with it. But let's go ahead and just, we'll try this big, this uh, big piece out right here. Yeah, let's see how it is. Big uh, piece right here. Mm. That's really good. It's really good because it tastes really, really fresh. There's no bruise, 
leaves or anything like that on here, or, or I'm sorry, bruised lettuce or vegetables or anything like that, which in most of these salads, when they're tossing, does get bruised a little bit, and it kind of hurts the flavor. Whatever sauce is on there, like the paste that they put on there, it is, I can already tell, I don't even have to ask that it's homemade because of the freshness that you get, and because it doesn't have an acidic, strong flavor like it normally does when I go to other Japanese places. Wow, this is really good. Mm. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the mic, but the crunch from these mm, is delicious. All right, guys, one of my favorite things to get at Japanese places is the fried dumplings, the gyoza. So these are really nice because they are fried, but then the top is steamed, which is the way I make them at home. You have the freaking sauce right here, the gyoza sauce. Oh, I can't wait. It looks amazing, though. I'm really excited to go ahead and try this out. We're gonna go ahead and pick this up. So the bottom is nice and fried and crunchy, and then you have the nice soft top that is still firm enough to so go ahead and grip, and then we're gonna go ahead and dip it on here. We're gonna go ahead and try this out. Mm. It's delicious. The dumpling is perfectly fried on the bottom. It's not burnt at all. It is just very, ever so slightly crunchy. But then the top is steamed, but it's, it's basically firm enough where it holds its place together. The inside you have nice pieces of, of, um, of meat, pork. Um, it has cabbage, but it also looks like it has water chestnuts. Not much, but it does look like it has a white piece of uh, water chestnut, and there it adds a little bit of variety of the flavor. So let's go ahead and show you guys the inside of this because it is pretty impressive, to be honest. So as you can see here, it's nice and stuffed. I ate over half of it. It's just the end that's left. You can see the water chestnut in there. You can see the cabbage. And you can see the meat in there. Full of flavor. Definitely dip it in this sauce. And that sauce is like an ever so slight soy sauce and adds a little bit of nice saltiness to the flavor of this dumpling. Overall, it's really good. Eating this is really making me look forward to how good the sushi is gonna be. All right, guys, this is amazing. The decoration of this, it is so freaking good. You got not a whole bunch of different variety of sashimi. You have some of the sushi rolls, which is the Philadelphia roll, and then you have the nigiri pieces as well with a whole bunch of different types of fish that's put on there as well as some shrimp. And it looks like some eel as well. It looks really good. You got the ginger and the wasabi and it's not missing. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful, man. I am dying to dig in. I want to try them on its own without any soy sauce or any flavor first, um, just from the raw fish and taste them. But they give you these cool little plates for you to put, go ahead and put some, uh, you go ahead, and go ahead and put some of this delicious soy sauce on there. All right, first things first, we're going to try the nice thick piece of tuna. Now, I will say the tuna is so delicious looking and fresh. It actually almost looks like a piece of watermelon when I went ahead and grabbed it, like a dark watermelon. But we want to go ahead and try this. I'm not even gonna dip it. I'm just gonna try it just like this to see how good it really is. All right. Mm. Man, that was really, really good. It's a very slight fishy flavor, but it's it's in a good way. Um, it, it went down really smooth. It was really buttery. It was a very high quality piece of tuna that I had, man. I cannot wait to go ahead and try the next one. There's so many things on this plate that I can't even imagine and how we can get to try it out and, and try each individual piece, but I also gotta make sure that I leave some for my wife. So the next thing I wanna try is I'm gonna try this piece of the nigiri, which is the salmon. It looks like it has maybe some uh, cabbage right on top and then it has a little ball of rice right under it. So let's go ahead and check it out. So as you can see, this looks really good. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of dip the fish on there, not the rice. That's really important. Oh no, it's breaking apart. And then we're gonna try to have the whole piece at once before it keeps breaking apart. All right, let's go ahead and try this out. Mm. Okay, I have to I have to tell you guys. Wow, that was amazing. I kind of wish I had more than just one piece because that was so freaking delicious, man. That was amazing. Oh my God. I didn't expect it to be anywhere near that good. And the soy sauce. I don't know if the soy sauce is homemade here, but it's like the flavors are so good. And like, usually when I have soy sauce, I love soy sauce, but it's usually overly salty, especially the ones that are store bought. But this one tastes so good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try a little piece of the Philadelphia roll. See if we can 
try this out. Put a little bit of soy sauce on there. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This is some of the best sushi I've ever had, honestly. Oh my god, there's such these regular rolls. Oh man. I'm sorry guys, this is like taking me aback. I, I know I, I thought it would be good, but I didn't think it would be this good. Eric, this is amazing man. Oh, and he actually went ahead and got us the fried katsu, so we're gonna go ahead and try it out with some tartar sauce, some lemon. We're gonna wait before we have it. I'm gonna try to try a little bit more of this out. Um, and they actually sent out the chicken teriyaki and then some white rice as well that he mentioned to us. Eric knows the owner, so he mentioned to us that the rice here is imported from like a family farm that they have in Japan and they bring it here and that's what they use to make all their sushi and their rolls. It kind of makes this place really unique. Uh, most of the fish are also imported according to what they're saying, so that's awesome as well. But next we're going to try another piece of fish here. Just going to have a little another slice of sashimi. This one looks really good. We're going to go ahead and dip it a little bit into the soy sauce. So as you can see, we have this piece here. Just dip it just ever so slightly into the soy sauce, kind of caress it. And then let's go ahead and try this piece out. Mm. I'm telling you, this soy sauce is making everything even better. It's already really good, but this is just making it that much better. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, I know there's a few more pieces and stuff like that, but you guys have to come and try them so you can taste these. I want to dig into the chicken teriyaki that we ordered for my wife and some of that rice and then get a bite out of this so we can really truly enjoy it. So we're gonna try to move this to the side. All right, the next thing that we have here is the chicken teriyaki. I can't wait to try this out. We gotta see this. So if you take a look, this looks so good. You have white sesame, black sesame. You have some really fresh looking pieces of broccoli. I mean, they look so appetizing. They're like little tiny trees, they're so green. And then you have the big, nice chunks of teriyaki chicken. And then let's go ahead and see if we can pick one up. Kind of hard because I'm looking through the camera instead of actually looking at it to make sure the angle is correct. But let's go ahead and try this out. And this is the rice. All right, let's go ahead and dig in. Mm. It's good. It's really good because they're using chicken thigh, so chicken thigh, so it's really not that dry. It's actually pretty juicy when you bite down. And teriyaki sauce, once again, is homemade, so it's not like super potent like you have them when you go to the stores where they're like overly sweet. I feel like they're a really good balance. To be completely honest, I really like it, but the sushi and the gyoza has set the bar so high that that's all I'm really thinking about, even though we're having chicken right now. But I'm telling you guys, it's, it's definitely really, really good, and it's definitely worth a try. Especially this rice. It's nice and sticky rice. Mm. The texture is so different. When you eat the rice, it's like you're eating tiny little, it's almost like bubbles, even though it's not. It's hard to explain because the grains are, the, the grains are so soft, each grain of rice, that it like, basically you bite down and it almost like pops and just dissipates completely. Um, but it sticks together a lot, so it's, it's really easy to use the chopsticks and just kind of get yourself a little tiny ball of it. Mm. Now, I don't know if you guys have had authentic Japanese rice, but it's literally white rice and that's it. There's no salt, there's no seasoning on it. But I could eat this on its own. If I try to do that here with white rice, I, I, it's almost uneat, like you can't eat it. For me, personally, is my opinion. I can't even eat it. But this, happily. Now I just accidentally dipped the tips on the teriyaki, but I'm telling you guys, the white rice on its own, definitely worth it. And of course, we're gonna have a piece of this. I do love broccoli. Now we're gonna go ahead and try this last surprise that Eric went ahead and ordered for us here for our table. We're gonna try it and see how it is. He is saying this is gonna blow my mind, so I can't even wait to try a piece. But let me show you guys, because this looks really, really good. So if you look here, you got really crunchy pieces of katsu. I think it's tuna katsu, but I'm not 100% sure. You have a fresh lime, and then he says this is like one of the best types of tartar sauces I'll ever have. So let's go ahead and just grab one of these. We'll dip it a little bit into this tartar sauce that he mentioned that was good. 
not it's really crunchy to the touch. The paint goes like falling out right off of it like when I try to touch it. Right, let's go ahead and try this out, guys. Mm. Oh my God. Oh man, he wasn't exaggerating. It is tuna katsu, which is basically deep fried tuna, but it is cooked to perfection on the inside. And the temperature is not too hot because if we let it cool down just a bit, the tartar sauce, you get that citrusy flavor that really cuts through the richness of that tuna. You get the crunch from the outside of the panko, and it just goes together really, really, really well. It is one of the best pieces of tuna I have ever had in my life. I gotta have another piece. Mm. Guys, this place is amazing. Honestly, this is, I know before in one of our videos, I think it was Naruto, I said the ramen there, and, and don't get me wrong, the ramen there is amazing and it's the closest ramen we've had to Japan since we came from Japan. But this, I didn't have sushi in Japan, but I can imagine that this is what it tastes like because it is that delicious. I mean, the tuna, the teriyaki chicken, the rice, the salad, the miso soup, all the pieces of nigiri, all the pieces of sashimi, and the Philadelphia roll itself is so good. The soy sauce, like everything. Um, the only thing I will say, and that's me being honest, that was average, is the water. With that said, guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish all this. I'm not sure if we're gonna have dessert, but if we do have dessert, uh, you know, I'll definitely record it. But we're gonna go ahead and finish enjoying this, but this is one of the best sushi meals I have ever had in the States, especially here in Florida. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, perfect. We, <laughs> I am stuffed, man. We finished eating. I wanna correct one thing that I said, and it's about the rice, because me and my wife started talking about it. So I know I said the rice were like little bubbles, and they're gonna blow and dissipate, but that's not the correct description. Honestly, the rice was really good. It's simple white rice, if anybody out there has had simple white rice, but the texture of it, you could feel the entire grain, and when you bite it, it actually had a bite to it. I'm not saying it in the sense of like when you bite into like kind of semi-raw rice, but it was cooked perfectly, but it has substance. Like when you bite down, I feel like when you bite down rice here in the US, or at least the rice that I've had, jasmine rice, basmati rice, and different types of rice, it's always like you bite it once and like it disappears and it's gone pretty much. That's why a lot of people, you can eat a lot of rice. But this had substance and like weight to it. So even though I put it in my mouth and I ate it and it was good, and, and it, it dissipates almost just as quickly as the rice here. It's just, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's like, it actually has like this substance to it where <coughs> it's really good and it's really, really, really filling. But regardless of that, when you guys come here, once again, it's Shin Japanese cuisine. It is so delicious. You gotta try the rice. Unfortunately, it looks like the chef that usually makes the special desserts that they have here has not made any special desserts today because it's been a little bit on the slower side. They are gonna probably do it starting next week and the week after because it's right before the holidays. <clears throat> but they do have green tea ice cream, so we went ahead and got that as a dessert for us and that's what we're gonna have right now. Oh, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Thank and they you. went ahead and uh, served it to us. Now, we just figured to get one for both of us because it's green tea. I like it, my wife's never had it, so I figured I'd order one so she could try it. But I mean, look at the way they serve it. It's actually really nice. So if you look, they have the homemade whipped cream on top of it. You have the green tea ice cream, and then they put some sort of topping, which I'll try right now. I'm not sure if that's cinnamon or nutmeg, but I'll try it right now. That's what it looks like at least. But yeah, we got two really cold icy spoons. And then we're gonna go ahead and try this out now. Here, babe. Go ahead and try it. Oh, her face. Anybody out there that's had green tea ice cream? They know. I like it, but a lot of a lot of people I know don't. I love it. We're gonna go ahead and finish this. Thank you so much for tuning in this week, guys. Really appreciate it. I was really hoping to make this video last week, but the awesome thing here is that, like I said earlier, when we got here, Eric ended up spotting us with his wife, and, and we like was able to come by and say hello. I didn't get a chance to record him, unfortunately, and I don't really want to interrupt what he's doing right now, but. He recommended a few things, man, and I'm really happy. He has really good taste in food because the two places that him and his wife recommended are the two places we went to last week and this week, just to go out of the normal from what I'm used to. 
and it is just amazing and it's definitely a place that I'm gonna come back to regardless of videos. I'm gonna come back and, and, and eat here every now and then whenever I'm feeling for sushi. This is probably one of my new favorite sushi places in Orlando. With that said guys, as always, thank you so much. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy your week, enjoy your holidays, and until next time, let's just keep on eating.